Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's enjoying the weekend. Good to see you here on stream. Maybe a little bit slow getting people in here. I started right on time, which is abnormal. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I played the Stellar Blade demo last night, which was fun. Let me get you guys game audio. I think today is gonna be kind of a side content type day. We finished, we have all three sub functions now and we got Demeter last stream. So before we get to the end of the base game main story, I wanna do a bunch of side content, wanna get a bunch of new gear some legendary stuff. Got a nice sunset here. And uh, I think maybe at least a ca one cauldron today, probably. Maybe some rebel camps. I'd love to get the sun scourge before we finish everything up. Why can't I get the uh, prompt at this campfire? There we go. Sit you can me, trust Outlander. a Tanakh I've got when it comes to, to comms. Peter, we have the same PC spec. Let's see which cauldron we did. I guess we didn't even do the very first cauldron, did we? So maybe we start with that. I just wanna check first if there's anything we can upgrade. Cerula Anjum, any tips for frost and fire claws? Um, I have a Master Machine Hunting Guide for Fire Claws. Haven't made one for Frost Claws yet. Why does it seem like my frame rate's low? Um, but it's a very similar strategy. You would just want to use Purge Water first once you get it tied down. I actually just published a video yesterday on like a method that's kind of, it's called Brittle Blasting. That's sort of what the community calls it anyway but it's a good method for taking down any tough machine. You might want to check that out. I think I called it take down any machine easily or something like that. I posted it yesterday. Let's see if we can upgrade anything worthwhile. Rockbreaker, Sunwing. I'd really love to get some better frost arrows. We might need to grind a little bit to upgrade this Seeker Hunter bow. But we probably don't need that for the first cauldron. Peter, you watched that video? Thanks. Glad you liked it. Yeah, that one and the really short, like, two-minute one on Apex machines that I posted this morning are kind of just, like, almost like footnotes that I sort of wanted to have published for a long time just so I can reference them in other videos. Um, but I think they're good on their own too. Grind time, Michael. Grind Central Station. That's right. A cauldron. If I can reach its core. I really feel like my frame rate is uh, very low right now. I might restart the game really quick. Yeah, I have VSync enabled via NVIDIA control panel. Oh, well that would be why. For some reason we're on 60 hertz. A measly 60 FPS. There we go. I know I'm here. Yeah, I have VSync off in game, but I have VSync enabled via NVIDIA control panel. Oh, wow. 
why am I not getting haptics in my controller right now either? I might restart the game. I don't know why my haptics aren't working. Uh, let's just manual save here really quick. What's this now? Oh, it was cloud saving or something. Uh, Jamie, no, you don't actually have to be at the Burning Shores to have the new skills unlocked. They're just available from the start. Brooklyn, I do not currently have videos on melee combat. Um, there's another creator. His name's Atano. He has some pretty good videos on melee combat. I do want to do a melee masterclass at some point, but I need to kind of, I need to spend more time using that play style. Block breaker is really important though. Block breaker and then more advanced is half moon slash. Yeah, why are my haptics just... Huh. I did disable my controller speaker as a as an output in windows i wonder if that has anything to do with it let's check something real quick Make that the default device though. Oh, interesting. That is it. So even though audio is not coming through my controller speaker, having that enabled must allow the haptic data to come through. Huh. Well, if anybody's complaining about weak audio or weak, weak haptics on their controller, that might be why. Haptics are audio high kick. They get sent as audio signals. I guess that makes sense. Oh, we're down to 60 FPS again, aren't we? Whoops. Justin just did a whole on Discord with somebody else having that problem. Uh, 
Uh, how long is the stream going to be? Probably three or four hours, I would say, at least. Tortillo, good to see you. Leap Lashers. Tortillo, yeah, I shot the Shredder at the ground so that I could hit them both. I don't know that I needed to there. I think they were close enough that if I hit one, it probably would have hit the other, but you can throw them at the ground to uh, make sure you get them between multiple enemies. Alright, let's make sure we loot these. And the pods. The pods are good loot. Yeah, Norma, I hate that they disable the focus too. It's super annoying. It sometimes it's often not even them, it's just the pods in the environment will be like sending out that pulse. Eddie, good evening, good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. Cauldron time. Should be able to hack this open. So have any of you guys played the Stellar Blade demo? I was saying a minute ago that I played it last night. Like hold up. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's hard to say. You played Ark. What did you think of it? And you did too, High Kick? Curious what you guys thought of it. It's kind of hard for me to say if the story's going to be any good. The demo is very much like a combat demo, I would say, with a little bit of exploration in a very linear area. You played through without the armor, so you didn't have any shield. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it seems like the combat system is pretty good. Problem I had was... It is. Table seems sturdy enough. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again! That was fun. Now I need to find 
find my way to the core. The problem I had was a lot of the combos um, and like parrying and dodging find a different path. just felt sloppy to me. Like there's certain combos you're supposed to be able to like after you dodge, like hold square. Oh, it should hide me for a while. To do uh, like a follow up attack and it just wouldn't work a lot of times. I mean, some of that is certainly me needing to get used to the timing of the controls and everything. But I swear, like, I was literally just, with that final boss you can unlock, I was just standing there. Trying to, like, I would do a dodge and I'd immediately hit square, hold square, or whatever you have to do. And it would do it half the time, and half the time it wouldn't. Scotty, you pre-ordered Stellar Blades, so you don't want to... Yeah, the demo is... The first part of the demo is the start of the game. And then it takes you to, Should like, a... To if I hack that node near the gap. A small area to explore, and then it... Which leads to a boss you can fight. And then when you're done with that, it unlocks another boss that you can fight as many times as you want. Hey, Kelly, good to see you here. Happy weekend to you as well. Yeah, it's cool they have that practice room, Arg. I just wish you could... Did you find a way to access that once you were done with the demo? I played around in that, in that for like 20 or 30 minutes when I got to that, like, better camp. But it doesn't seem like you can access it from outside that area. Brooklyn, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Break my fall. Overall, though, I thought the combat system had some good depth to it, if I can get the hang of the timing. Parrying was definitely really important because you could get, you could break their uh, balance, I think is what they're calling it. Like, you can stagger enemies, essentially, and then you get Retribution, I believe it was, which is essentially the equivalent of a critical strike in Horizon when you knock something down. You can basically stab them and do a bunch of damage. That was pretty strong, but it took a while to build up uh, to a knockdown. Ruined Racer, do I like Forbidden West outfits or Zero Dawn? Well, that's a tough question. I would say, I mean, there are certain, like, Banuke outfits I really liked. We have more outfits to pick from here. And you have Transmog here. Which is cool. Oh, damn. More machines. Well, I'm here. I think there's a good mix in both games. I gotta find a way to the other side. Could catch a right on those to get across. Can I grapple strike from here? Get shot out by those machines. Huh. Yep. Oh, don't jump off, Aloy. I wish we could get all the Zero Dawn outfits, even as just um, transmog looks in Forbidden West. That would be cool. Cars of Silks Heavy was your favorite, Norma. Yeah, I like the Cars of Silks Heavy. The Shadow Stalwart. I think it was the Shadow Stalwart Heavy. The one that blocks um, flashes. That was my go-to for a lot of it. Everything's 
being moved to the back of this corridor. That has to be the core. Well, Kelly, you missed you missed the Karja blades on somehow. Yeah. I should be able to climb these vents if I. They definitely included that because they knew it was a favorite from Zero Dawn. And it's cool you can die it now. The Sickness Eater and Spark Worker looks, Arg? Yeah, I like those too. I'd love to transmog those in Forbidden West or Zero Dawn. Wait, you don't have it yet still, Kelly? You couldn't find it? Or you sold it? Charlie, hello. Good to see you here. You know, I tweeted this. There was a picture, like when they announced one of the PC... It was when they announced the PC release date, I think, on the PlayStation blog. There was a picture of Aloy standing in the Burning Shores somewhere, which I found the exact spot, wearing... Which outfit was it? Oh, I don't have all the outfits here. She was wearing one of the Karja outfits, I think. And it had, like, a different dye pattern than anything I had seen. And maybe it was just the way they adjusted colors for the photo or something, but it really looked like they dyed individual parts of the outfit. I did a side-by-side -side comparison on Twitter. Yeah, there's, there's no, there was no existing dye that looks like that. Machine slaughter. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, it was directly from the developers. You know, it was from Gorilla, so it wasn't. I don't think technically you could call anything they do a mod. It would be because it's in their own engine. But maybe they were messing around, and then it never actually ended up being released. Jumping onto that arm should be easy. So far, so good. Now I just need to jump off at the right time. Kelly, yeah, you'll be able to grab it in a New Game Plus run for sure. Is the third game release? Um, I think the earliest we would see it is probably 2026, but even that seems a little. It seems faster than I think we can hope for. They're going to release the online project almost certainly, the multiplayer online project before Horizon 3. And. I would expect that sometime in 2025. So it's possible Horizon 3 could be 2026, but I think probably more likely like 2027. A 
Hello, Shellwalker. I want your lightning gun. No shield for you. Oh, you're not going to need it anymore. You did. Alright, where's your lightning gun? Auto pickup. Too good. Keeps tricking me. Those metal carriers can get me closer to the core. But how do I reach them? Machine slaughter makes sense for the third game to be in progress. Yeah, it's definitely in progress. They're working on it. It just takes a lot of time to make a game like this. So if you guys didn't know, you see this here. Three sides to one. I wonder what's behind this door. Left, up, right. Left, up, right. Hey, listen. I think the door's opening. There's a Zelda door in each cauldron. It's dangerous to go alone without supplies. Might as well grab these. little easter egg pretty cool one i didn't know about it for a long time actually i think you guys took jerry maybe one of you one of you guys told me on stream a while back about it or on discord and then we did it on stream together <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool keep an eye out for those in the cauldrons you can go back for them it's nothing crazy in there. It's just a little bit of loot, but it's pretty neat. You can go back to it, Tortillo. You can head back in here and open it up. You should be able to. On, on PC, it's probably, that's a good question. What is it on PC? Yeah, it's on the D-pad, so... It could be the same defaults, so what is up on the D-pad on PC? It's whatever your healing is, so Q, I guess, by default, so it'd be ZX and Q. It's left, up, right, left, up, right. It could also just be hard-coded to the arrow keys, though. I should have done it with the keyboard. If we do another cauldron, I'll do it with the keyboard, and we'll see. You're watching your stream with the cat. Awesome. I hope the cat is enjoying, and you are too. Here's 
machine slaughter, you can't go back? Some of them I think you can. Could try getting to that arm below. Thanks. I can make that jump. Aloy, that was close. I should be able to hitch a ride on those metal carriers from here. It is the assigned keys for the tools menu arc. That's good to know. So then by default, it would be ZX and Q, I believe. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. Dino puppy, good Those to see you. Help me reach the core. Your Just internet's being me. flaky. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, it's not too troublesome. I'm getting close to the core. No, there's no black box in the cauldron. It just they just show up like wherever you are. The thing's probably like 1,500 steps away. Those metal carriers should get me to the core. Go, Aloy. It always seems like you're not going to be able to make that jump. Let me get those machine overrides. Azure Sky, how high is the radiation in the cauldron? I don't know if it's radioactive at all. I mean, definitely a lot of electromagnetic radiation, I would say, but that's not going to hurt you. Unless it's really, really like strong. I guess it's deactivated for now. But clearly Aloy can go through these without, at least as far as we know, without any kind of biological damage. Norma, no, I don't think they were intended for There's humans to go inside. Now I just need to access it. They're really just for Hephaestus building machines, you know. What are you doing to that hippo, Hephaestus? That is grotesque, sir. Machine's jaws look like they could swallow me. Do we have any purge water ammo? Can 
Can you get any piercing spikes out of these? Was somebody saying on stream last time you could... Yeah, you can throw shredders out of these too. Wait, build up my... Got back up. How do I want to kill you? Should be able to access the core now. Oh, he was really close to dying. Knockdown power. Like has been upgraded Got two tusks. That's good. Where's the other body? Kill the other one. Am I blind right now? Tidbits, thank you for the five memberships. Really appreciate all the donations you're making on the streams. Especially memberships, because then other people get to enjoy as well. Should be able to override more machines with this. side quest should we do? We have a bunch that I just haven't even picked up.
maybe some of the ones that are in Sky Clan territory would be fun. With the data I got from that core, I should be able to override this machine. Relic ruins, that's a good point, Norma. Should be able to override scrunchers now. Now everyone's on the same side. At least for a while. Hello, puppy. Protect me, puppy. And I shocked him for you. Bite him. Bite him. Missed, Burrower. I saw you throw that rock. Where are you going? Go fight him. There you go. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. bad soon. Don't have the permanent override. Nice sunrise. Were we talking about this last stream? I've been thinking lately, like, why is it called Horizon? Is there an actual, like, official or lore-established reason for that? Like, they like symbolism and sort of mysticism. And we have zero dawn. Dawn is morning, right? Sun rises in the east. So zero dawn is sort of like east. And then we have forbidden west. So we've gone east to west on the horizon. And then zenith is sort of the opposite of a horizon because zenith is like on a hemisphere. It's directly straight up and horizon is the edge. So third game, something to do with the moon. Nighttime? What relic ruins have we not done? We can do the dry. We can do this one now. Link the event horizon. Yeah, I could see that. Horizon New Moon. Mm, that's an interesting title. Built into the cliff. I think that's the one that Tanakh told me about. Might be worth poking around inside. There's some kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. all these machines for. Should I do it? When will the next horizon come out? We were talking about that earlier. Probably not till 2026 at the very earliest. But I would think more like 2027. Got another relic. Judging by this data, I think it might be related to something like this famous. I can figure it out if I head back there. All right, no need to do this room. <laughs> um, did 
Did we ever do... No. Train station. I'll show you guys another Easter egg. Most of you probably know about this one. Easter egg at the Relic Ruin. Also, this, in the end game, this spot here, so we're like right just west of the Plainsong Hunting Grounds, this will respawn Rebels a lot of time if you want to play around with Rebels. Aloy rides machines. Whoa, that was crazy. Thanks for the cinematic effect, other rebel, wherever you are. Or was that an Utaru? Did you do that? Did you do that? That was close, Outlander. We are in your debt. I'm in your debt for that cinematic flourish, sir. It's over, guys. It's over. Calm down. It's over. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The cycle brings growth, but also decay. This is the way of things. What are we looking for? Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> this poor Otaro are stressed, man. Where is it? Are they behind us? Are they over there? Oh, the other guy joined in now too. Chill, chill. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys. They're on high alert. something useful lying around I should take a look inside okay what's in here all right let's see the Easter egg does anybody not know about this one so that's An ancient rail cart huh I wonder if it can still move gorilla games Heart, Ukraine. Kind of neat. Uh, we need to pull this back. Okay. There also was an inscription somewhere on this relic ruin about Ukraine, but it was like, I guess it was an unofficial edition that one of the developers put in, and then it got removed. Looks like this switch controls the tracks. If anybody does find the inscription at some point, there. 
definitely let me know on Discord or something, but I'm pretty sure it's gone now. There's some kind of relic in that room. How do I get in there? Oh, Aloy. Clouds are spent. Rain's done. Aloy! Let's try it the, uh, the speed runway. Interesting. This could help. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Do we to even open. have to open this door to do it that way? Better search the ruin. Here I come. Okay. Where to now? Exactly do you have to jump for this? Right off this rock, maybe? Yep. Made it. Okay, got the relic. According to this data, this thing might have had something to do with Las Vegas. Maybe I should head back there. Okay, two relic ruins. Is this a rebel camp or outpost? This is an outpost. I might want to take another look around, see if I can find anything else. Let's go craft some ammo real quick. Should really upgrade my pouches too. A peccary bone. We should be able to get that. A little ammo here and then maybe another relic ruin or maybe we'll do a rebel camp <laughs> Could really use some piercing spikes I think snap maws are a good source right We can unlock this shelter while we're up here. Machine can tough out the cold. Frost won't help.
Two piercing spikes. Just what I needed. More like 200. Usually you can get two of them to spawn here. Almost 300 people watching on YouTube. Welcome to anyone new. An old world if this is your first stream. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming to hang out. See what I can find. Or maybe you're all existing yeah. members, subscribers, viewers, and it's just a good time. Either way, I'm glad to have you here. What's the skip for this one? I don't know the skip for this one. What's the best weapon for killing machines with the sharp shot bow? Not quite sure what you mean. Do you mean like to prepare to take a shot with the sharp shot bow? A locked door. Looks like it needs a I mean key. freezing them first is pretty pretty good. Do you just jump directly from here? Yep. Easter. It was recently Easter. That's cool. Jordan, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. The relic. Judging by this data, I think it might be related to something in Las Vegas. I could figure it out if I head back there. Level up. Maybe I should take one more look around before I go. See if there's anything else interesting. It's a few more snap maws. Oh, right between his legs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very rude, Mr. Snapmaw. Very rude. First, till I get my stamina back. Aww. The fact that they can do five of those blasts and they have such a big radius is a bit annoying. I don't think either of these were Apex, were they? No. Mm, pretty sure I didn't gain any piercing spikes because I used strike through arrows for that. Whoops. Okay, let's do... Which rebel camp? Maybe this one, Devil's Grasp. Are there any further east that we haven't done yet? We did the hive. That's an outpost. That's an outpost. I think Devil's Grasp is the next one. Mr. AR Gaming, so Shock Shredders basically shred everything? Yes. 
they do especially uh especially the once you get them leveled up and that's not even the legendary shredder that I was using this is just the thunderbolt at level two Shredder make it better. Shredder make it better. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a lot of skill points. to a shelter first. Well, let's see how much we can stealth. Valor, though. So we're doing oh. this. Oh, I've been spotted. Did not get the silence right there. Oh. 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 Let's see how much we can stealth. Immediately oh. not stealth. Half moon slash now. Taking my shot. You can't keep running. Blasted to death. Ouch, Norma. You got the death count. Thank you. 
don't know what we would do without that. Um, let me go to a, let me go to a shelter first. We should probably unlock this shelter anyway. Take me to Tremmy. Take me to Tremmy. That's right. You don't see me, Tremmy. Ride, Charger, ride. Missed it. No charger, get up. Charger's not getting up, I don't think. Have to revive him. We 
really need some better frost arrows. Nighttime, Tremmy. It's time for bed. Time for bed. Calm down. <laughs> no, you guys do not need to get involved with this. Let's go to a shelter. <laughs> uh, it's kind of disappointing. I feel like we're burning more resources than it's worth, though, at this point. And our outfit's weak to plasma, too. That doesn't help. Got her charger back. That's good. Shelter. A chance to rest. Check my gear. Rebels. I need to get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. Only five piercing arrows. I could go buy piercing spikes, I suppose. Or, yeah. Piercing spikes. But we'll try to stealth a lot of the camp, I think. What does the dotted line under some machines mean? It's a convoy? 
think... Do you mean like these? It means they move. They have like a path they follow. To the camp? Oh, we need vulture something, don't we? Yes, and peccary. We need a bunch of peccary stuff. Well, I'm coming for you later. Relax. No, I did not upgrade my pouches yet. Come here, Peccary. Jens, you beat the main story and you can't find what? Apex Dreadwings? I just published a video on how to find Apex machines. Um, you gotta kill enough of them so that they start spawning as Apexes. Are you having... Oh my god, this charger's stuck. <laughs> Can you find a site? Is that is that the issue? You don't know where a site is? Built under a horse? What are they doing here? There's a dreadwing site after the main quest where you encounter one. There's a Dreadwing site that shows up right here. Near Latopolis. Sure, no problem. Yeah, that's the one that gets marked. There's a couple unmarked ones as well. Actually, there's... Three unmarked ones? Two unmarked ones? Awesome. She's here. She's not here. Alarm! She's not here. Alarm! Firing. Fill her with arrows. Oh.
Grapple in for a big hit. One moment, please. Let me get all this loot. Rebels, and then I'll come and deal with you. Face to face it is. Oh. Your next idea. Can you see her in this? There's something wrong with the YouTube stream? You two, let's search. Okay. Revenge! <gasps> just restarted the YouTube stream real quick. Made it through. Find whoever's giving the orders around here. I can figure out what they're up to. I do not like the look of this place. Is it good now? <laughs> I was looking at OBS. Oh man. Aram, newcomer, you started, you started for the last not long ago. The guys are helping. Good to hear that, man. Good to see you on stream here. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened with YouTube. It should be okay now. Uh, it does actually give you the control over what resolution you need to, I don't know if you're on mobile or desktop, but if you go to the little gear on desktop or the little three dots on mobile, there's an advanced setting where you can choose your resolution. I'm going to toggle the YouTube stream again because it's still giving me a warning. So it might freeze for like 10 seconds or so. But I'm just going to sit here. Okay. I think it should be solid now. Man, I don't know why. There is an OBS update that I can try. I'm going to have to upload more logs to the, the GitHub guys and see if they can figure out what it is. Where's the two that stand outside? 
Scotty, I have not played Elden Ring. Uh, I want to, though. And I think I may try and get up to speed before the DLC comes out. Because I kind of want to make content for the DLC. Kelly, thank you for the the Kofi donation. Appreciate that. Sal's Tengen, good to see you. I probably did not pronounce your name right, I apologize. Where the heck is everybody? Did we like kind of glitch this and the people we killed stayed dead? Nice little loot pile. They're looking for me. No one to be found. Call it off. Don't do that. Now I'm scuffle. Tortillo, do I plan to do GTA 6? Uh, I wasn't planning on it. I'm not much of a GTA player. I know it's super popular. That's probably crazy, but... Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't come out for a while still. Mark Peter, good to see you. Can I get an angle on her? Don't mind me. Just dragging this cannon through the camp. I see you there. <laughs> ah! 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 subsiding oh god who's got that thing oh he does probably like a headshot to me. Oh, I 
missed that critical strike. I keep forgetting I have half moon slash. There's ten died by shot. She thought she'd get away. All my precision arrows on you, aren't you? Glory for the rebellion! Get back! Back here! Not take a chance with them. How much damage do they deal? Like 600? 500 something? Grr. I got healist. That's right. Ulrich, why is my max ammo count so low? Because I haven't upgraded my pouches. Which I probably should do. I really need to go just upgrade them. I'll do that after this. Where are... I feel like we're glitching this. Where are the rest of the rebels? Over your head. Oh! It's that huntress. Oh! Oh! Took every piercing arrow I had. shredders for this.
Okay, better. Oh, that's my charger. I was like, what are you what was one of them doing out there? Anybody not got a helmet? I'll break both of your legs. To keep me going. Break both of my legs. That's so rude. Machines down with this. With me. Right. It has an override module like mine, but different. I think this is what the ah! used to override machines. So ah! If I get rid of it, the rebels will have fewer of them. Ah! Ah! What? Okay, let's go upgrade pouches. Then we'll come back. I think I blew myself up with the spike there. I thought potentially... No, not the food pouch. Precision arrows, hunter arrows. Squirrel, duck. Where's a good place to get bass? In the lake by Latopolis, maybe? There's a flight recorder nearby. I could add it to the collection Stealing of the group. my soul, my wares are the finest. Maybe the beach would be better. I swear there's fish here, though. Yeah, it would be nice if there was like maybe a setting just to adjust how many hints you get. I think there's a setting for that in God of War Ragnarok. Maybe 2018 too. To like reduce the number of puzzle solving hints you get.
I would be terrified swimming in the ocean at night like this. here though close your eyes and it's less scary that might be more scary although I guess you can't see anything anyway the swimming in the game is really cool though Price is gone. Good to see it. All right. You said their craft wasn't seaworthy, given the fact that you've never set foot on the boat. Is a guess. Who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death, but one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a, a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together? A uh, raft? I wouldn't want to go to sea on one, <laughs> but it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. If the raiders went out to sea, I'm not sure how I could follow them. I guess they got away, for now. Arg, yeah, it'd be cool to have more underwater areas to discover. You've earned this soldier's respect. It'd be cool if there were like underwater caverns, like even if you don't have underwater combat. It'd be cool if there were I underwater have to do something. caverns that I can't just lie here. somehow Maybe didn't have. It's for the best water in them that you no. can swim down to stop saying that like a trapped air bubble or something what's going on here you're her the one from the embassy please you have to go after my father he's going to get himself killed in the stand of the sentinels the forest beyond the village everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own Venera? If you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now, he's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp, tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists, and somewhere in the middle of it all, his knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me, it was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. 
glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. Courage serves you well. Your enemy is mine. We walk in Keep strength. your blade bright. Show some respect, Outlander. Show some respect, Outlander. What's this one? Owls. We need bass, though, for the resource pouch. Are there fish up here? I feel like there aren't fish in this lake, actually. Trout, Arg? Hmm. I feel like the compass still refreshes at 30 FPS no matter what. Like it looks jittery. frames they lost the concept of fish sticks the apollo database was lost man it's a shame no fish and chips for these guys we could do the race while we're here Got a little tree growing out there. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Be cool if Aloy had a fishing pole, though. It's Dory. Dory? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. It'd be funny if there was, like, one clownfish in the whole game. And if you scanned it, it said it was Nemo. Fish. Need bass. You spent points to put sunglasses on the high emote art. Awesome. What's that over there? Oh, is this? That's the area where. We have to go for Danner. Can we do that before talking to him? Did not expect Finding Nemo reference on today's stream. I didn't either, Link. I did not either. Where 
Where'd all the bass go? Daver, good to see you. I'm glad you made it as well. Where's all of our bass? There's one. daytime which other ones did we have active resource pouch shredder satchel spike holster I think that's good for now Keyframes, you're looking forward to Ghost of Tsushima. Have you played it on PlayStation? Yeah, it's not far away now, is it? The PC release. on hand. You only play PC games, so that'll be your first time playing Ghost. Awesome. It's a great game. For some reason, I just, I don't get the itch to replay it like I do with Horizon, but I really enjoyed it when I played it. Texas bacon. Roadkill the vultures. I don't even know if that would be considered Texas Texas bacon, would it? The vultures are the roadkill? You can play now, Tortilla? Are you like home or something now? Can we shoot through this tiny gap? Nope.
Jalen, you love the streams. Game's beautiful, makes you want to play again. But you have a big backlog? Yeah, I know. I know what that's like, man. Definitely got to work on the backlog. I do not make much progress on mine. To be perfectly honest. See, the problem is I can't one-shot these guys even with the strike through arrows right now. See if we can go in this side. You wish you had a backlog, Norma? Just start coming up with games you want to play. I do wonder if not being get, getting headshot multiplier through a helmet with strike through arrows is a bug. I kind of feel like you should get it, you know, because you're using more expensive ammo. You got the headshot. A little bit of hunting while we make our way up. What game is it that you want to play, Norma? Corruptors. Horizon 3. The override module in my sphere for one of them. I guess the rebels are using them too. Does scanning this count as a corruptor scan? Assassin's Creed Project Red, yeah. That should be out later this fall. Summer or winter, maybe. Sounds like this year, though. You play a lot of AC games? Or have you? We'll slaughter those new marshals. I love Silent Strike from above. Can that only be put down from above? Keep still now. We're in the clear. No trace so, of intruders. Um, probably nothing. False alarm, huh? Yep, false alarm. What are you doing there? On me! Good, we didn't alert anybody else, I don't think. Try a clean fight. Oh boy. Oh. 
Hope it hurts. Sixty two to the body, that doesn't seem right. Oh, look at him throw the rock. Gave you that gun. Bomb out. No bombs out. No bombs out. We got the two tough guys that are out here. Give me something. Not doing too good either. I knew it. Oh! 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 I'm taking my time. Shoot 
Come for me then. I am coming for you. Who else is here? Just the guys in the back now? I held machines down with this. And that hammer. It has an override module like mine, but different. I think this is what the rebels use to override machines. So, if I get rid of it... Rebels will have fewer of them. Is you two being weird, Norma? Merlin, you appreciate the focus on Horizon? Thanks. I just love it. I really hope the online multiplayer is good. So that we have Horizon, a Horizon game that has like a we longer give life it cycle. Up. Give it up. Get back to what we were doing. I think this Body is where they run the camp. Do you see anyone around? Think the Outlanders returned? Another this false alarm. Always suspicious. Someone there? I think she's back, everyone. And she took another one of us down. Don't try and fight the Outlander alone. Sons you. Of Prometheus. This Take me. Prometheus. Ah! Firing! DJ is. I don't know if it's going to be PvP. This time, I will find you. Or PVE. It could be. There could be like modes for both. If it's one or the other, I would guess PVE because the job descriptions have clearly made it pretty clear that it'll be like we'll fight machines together. for some purpose and in some capacity, but I haven't seen anything in the job descriptions about fighting other players yet. This focus is encrypted. Maybe I can hack into it back at base. What else have you been up to? Orders to increase the number of machines being captured and overridden. That is not good. It's an override module, like mine. But it's been... altered. Looks like it needs to be... inside a machine to work. That's what the equipment outside is for. They... pierce through a machine's armor. And insert the module to override it. So the rebels harvest ancient corruptors in the area to get override modules. And I'm guessing the sons of Prometheus modify them to be shoved into machines permanently. Now they have orders to override a lot more of them. I was right. I have to destroy that equipment fast. Don't All we destroy this? Is still not cooling off. just around the wrong side of it. Argnu. That should make it harder for the rebels to add more machines to their army. You guys knew. All right. 
So that's that rebel camp. Let's see if we can quickly upgrade our hunter arrow quiver. Need a fast travel pack. Yeah, Daver, I don't know if we're going to do them all today, but that's kind of what I'm doing. That's what I'm going for anyway. I think this turned into something tasty. Definitely want that before going to the Burning Shores. One DLC frozen, one burning, Norma. Yeah. What's going to be next? Mm. Do all the elements. Air, water, earth, fire. Ulrich, I've done all the subordinate functions. So I'm kind of just doing a bunch of side content and leveling up gear and getting better gear right now. Doing side quests, doing cauldrons before the end of the main game, the base game main story. And then we'll finish that up and then we'll go to the Burning Shores. You have to finish the game before doing the DLC. The main, the main story, anyway. This is quite the hike for salmon bones. I rush of air. Stormbird. Keep an eye on the sky with a storm, sir. 
machine can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. Oh no, we don't have range master equipped. That's okay. No berries. Acid. 
Where's all the berries? Where's all the berries? Uh, I couldn't find any berries. That was kind of fun, though. Okay, salmon bones. <laughs> yeah, we went into that with only 12 berries total, I think. I had the two healing potions, but... I took a lot of damage there. Yeah, Merlin, you can die from any status effect because it deals damage over time. Like crushed, acid, burning. They just tick away at your health. And if you can't, if they don't clear on their own or if you don't clear them with a cleansing potion or you can't out heal them then they'll just kill you and it's pretty brutal on ultra hard because they last a long time aloy has thighs of steel running up these mountains the same dumb way I went a minute ago. This easy? Okay, salmon. we'll need more parts. Maxed out the hunter arrow quiver, an owl wishbone for precision arrows. Let's at least do the potion, potion pouch. Way back in the dawn. Very pink.
Let's see if we can get this squirrel part quickly. Here's a squirrel. There we go. Is that a J? Let's get the J. Did it despawn? Oh. A little quick shot there for the J. All right, that's good. Ocean pouch. Oh, nice. We can go another level. YouTube's not behaving for you, Norma. Oh. It might be on my end this time. Hang on. Okay. Mm, I think we're good. Let's quickly go to a merchant and just sell off. I think we have a bunch of stuff we can sell. Merlin, you have to go. Thanks for hanging out on stream today. Good to see you. Anytime. Almost ready to go. YouTube's still laggy. Hmm. I can't. I can try to toggle it again. It's weird because I don't have anything right now on my end that says anything's wrong. Although, hang on, I'll toggle it again. Don't 
Hey Paris, good to see you. You like the thumbnail for the ultra dead, the uh, hunting method video? Glad to hear that. All right, what should we do now? Maybe the wound in the sand? Make it daytime, do a side quest. Peter, you found the machine hunting guides helpful? Good to hear that. Glad you found them helpful. Give less water. I'll see you at training later. These why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And uh... <clears throat> Oof. Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. Maybe a little too eagerly. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. Oh, he'll run. <laughs> I was walking because I thought he would the run. Bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You will find out soon enough. It's laggy again. Okay, now OBS is telling me that it's dropping frames. Why, though? Hang on, I'll be right back. check something really quick. No, Mr. Keyframes, it's not the game. Is there smoke coming out of my router? No. I have been having some issues with my internet though. Onyx, no, it's not. I'm gonna I'm gonna toggle the YouTube stream again. It's gonna freeze for a second.
Have I fed the hamster? No, I don't usually feed the hamster. It's probably my inter my ISP is pain in the butt. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the old ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. It's still being jittery, isn't it? This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources, but everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Thy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. Yeah, I'm not quite or sure Osra. what it is, guys. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? 
Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. It looks stable right now. But I can't tell why it's freaking out. I only get 25 megabit up. And it's not always consistent. Machines. Even though I pester my internet service provider about it pretty often. But I gotta figure something out so that this doesn't keep happening. Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. Yeah, only 25 up, high kick. Patch of wet sand? Yep. Try Twinge's internet. Twinge says he gets 3 gigabit up. I'm like, where do you even buy? Like, is that even a plan option? 3 gigabit up? That mound. Where do you live, man? It looks like In the, the server? Wind. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills... But it also surprises. I don't think Twinge is here right now. Lots of animals here. These guys, these Chuck Wallows, I don't think give you any parts. They only ever give you meat. Or at least they're not the used for any upgrades. We're going to have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Follow. Chuckwalla are friends, not food. That's funny, Paris, because we were looking at Dory before. Have the wrong valor surge equipped. Can't move. 
I could grapple in for a big hit. No stamina for that. Barely a challenge. Good job. All right, let's get the loot. To investigate this guy, right? You know him? That is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with. We don't know what happened here yet. Easy, Yara. We still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. Maybe I should drop down to H264 encoding again. That's what I used to do. I mean, HEVC should really be fine, but I've been using that for a long time. I, I think it's my internet. I'm gonna have to call them again. Water. Barely a lick's worth, but there are no streams in this area. Camilla, Camilla? These anchors. That soldier must have used Good them to, to get up this cliff. Greetings from Brazil, that's cool. He must have been cool. going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. JXB, you're finally watching the stream. Good to see you, man. What is this? How's it going? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. You see anything with that second sight of yours? Not yet. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Yeah, Mr. Keyframes, my ISP. Probably knows why is he using so much bandwidth? They just slow me down. Throttle me. They don't give me that much bandwidth to start with though, so. Going down. They really shouldn't do that. I don't think they I don't think they really are, but Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. The bigger problem is, is I don't get the t the measly 25 me megabits I'm supposed Sister, to get to begin with. Stay here. 
Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. Not getting up through there. A valve. That might help. Hey, it stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. Yeah, I wish I could get fiber, Mr. Keyframes. It's not an option here. I have one ISP that can do better than five megabits, so I really only have one option. <laughs> and no, none of the options are fiber. The water is still leaking. Oh, we did have to pull the other else. lever, didn't we? the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Sounds like the water's switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Yeah, Mr. Keyframes. I do need fiber. Is it done? Not yet. I'm working on it. In a year or two, I'm probably going to move. Whoops, we're not done yet. And hopefully I can move somewhere where I can get better internet. The system switched back. Couldn't hold the water pressure. Starlink. Find a way up to that valve. Is that supposed to do anything? I guess not. Yeah, I could get Starlink. It's kind of expensive, and I don't know that the upload speed would be better than what I have. I think the latency would definitely be worse. Worse. It's leaking again. Whatever you did, undo it. Better close that up again. The leaks disappeared. Making progress. It sounds like water switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Huh? Better off using 5G for my phone. We don't have 5G here either. Sounds like that did something. <laughs> Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not I think that we I have like. See. Let's hope that means my plan works. One spot in town that has 5G, but. That should do it. This will return water to Scalding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Do I live in Canada? No, I don't live in Canada. But I live in... I don't, I don't want to say exactly where I live. 
just for not because I don't trust you guys, but it just takes one weirdo on the internet, you know. But I live in Banuk territory, so I'm pretty close to Canada. It's pretty rural where I am. I mean, I live in a city, but not a very big city. And it's kind of a city in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, kind of in the frozen wilds, yeah. Machine saw me. Am I worried about fire claws? Uh, there are bears here for sure. Could run into a grizzly or a moose. Moose are even worse to run in. I've never run into a moose, but I mean, I've seen moose, but a moose is, you got to be more worried about a moose than a bear. They're very aggressive. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. I hear another hunting ground record has been broken. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. You honor the Tanakh. You have some nerve. You're one to talk. That doesn't sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble, and it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. Consider that a challenge. <laughs> Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. These two. To prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? 
What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Bergala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Why can't Jataka be in charge? He's level-headed. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. <laughs> I think that Tanakh should have a law like in a situation like this, the chaplain's in charge. I do have 32 unspent skill points. Look at that. Yeah, we've been racking them up. I probably should spend them. get down to low health defense. Shaft, good to see you. Mm. Actually, let's start making our way to chain burst. It's a good route to chain burst. Draka and Yara are already here. You're their commander. Good day, warrior. Can your blade be bright. She can try. You're here. Ah, the hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh, yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? 
But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. It really is a tough choice because neither of them, they're both so hot-headed and I wouldn't want either of them to lead. But I pretty much always feel like Yara's the bigger um, threat to the tribe. Like, I think she's more unstable. Draka's reasoning is wrong here, but I think he's the more level-headed person in general. But they're just both not good choices. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Yeah, VB, that's that's exactly it. Like, I feel like she's paranoid. Whereas Draka's, he's upset, but I don't, I could just see Yara, like, later on doing something like this again because she's paranoid about being usurped, you know? This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie, too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Oh, sorry guys. I should have started a poll a little while ago. Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this. Do the aerial jump off there. A hit like that won't oh. me. That's brutal, man. Much better. Much better, she said.
Oh, good job, guys. I'll take that loot. It's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around? didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. Desert Flame. Gemini. Or the Gate of the Vanquished to the Danakh. I'll be back here soon enough to capture Hephaestus. I always forget this is the entrance to Gemini. That this quest happens here. Dun dun dun. Wings holding up. All right. Is there another rebel camp we can clear real quick? Or maybe another cauldron. Let's do the, uh, where's that tall neck? This might be my favorite cauldron. Aloy, my data indicates you are near a cauldron. Accessing its core may provide you with additional machine overrides. I have marked its location in your focus. Thanks, Gaia. Thanks, Gaia. She's so helpful. Whoops. See little Oops.
get them to sit on their tails. It's really funny when they do that. That's a great little detail I think the Leap Lashers have. An obnoxious little detail. If the Banook can survive freezing, so can I. Cauldron door, but different. No way to hack it open. I'm gonna have to find some other way in. Green shine. Green shine. I'm in luck. Doc just stumbled upon the stream. Glad to have you here, man. Hope you've been enjoying the YouTube videos. This crevice is massive. I wonder where this leads. Through the cauldron, I couldn't get to revive. Looks damaged. Earthquake must have hit here too. go back and make sure we didn't miss anything good. Cool how this is like ripped apart by an earthquake.
machine can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. I think it's really clever how with Grapple Strike they have the two different animations for the different distances you're at. Like, it works really smoothly. Very seamless. When you're up close, like, jumping off the machine. Like I can hack into this. Should be able to climb these. Those forges. I might be able to climb them to get to the other side. I also feel like a lot of the uh, burning shores, I love these little like forge fingers, they're cooking up something good. I feel like a lot of the burning shore skills like grapple strike could very well have been like i mean they're cool for this single player game right they're cool to have in the burning shores and in the game but i kind of feel like they could very well be tests for the multiplayer like those would be really cool skills to have in multiplayer combat although like concentration and grapple strike with the sort of time slowdown that you get I don't really know how that would work. Oh. Hey, Lloyd. Okay. I think I could just glide this. I could probably just hop over this, huh? I might be able to climb them to get to the other side. What? Can you super glide this? Gap's too wide. I need to find another way across. Oh boy. Nope. Not from there. You can arg? Good super glide in a while. Those forges. I might be able to climb them to get to the other side. Gap's too wide. Need to find another way across. Will the forge give us the boost?
Should be able to climb these. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. Is like, I don't know how you have a time slowdown mechanic in a multiplayer game, unless it slows down time for everyone. Oh, not like the really high one, Arg. Just a regular. Yeah, they could do it that way, Arg. That could work. Instead of slow down. I kind of want the slow down, but... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like you can get me up to the top. Yeah, if it just gave you more reload speed or like maybe higher accuracy, could work. at the peak. What you doing with that giraffe in there? Whoops. Sliding into hurdy force fields. Atomic. The earthquake must have interrupted the process. Atomic's not looking so hot. Where's his head? Park Peter, you've been doing a new playthrough on PC. 
my best purple hunter bow when I first started on PC or PlayStation. My best purple hunter bow? It's like, what's my favorite purple hunter bow? I'm making good use of this. Just have to expose the core and get those overrides. That tall next how you feel some mornings, Ark. Well, that can be good. <laughs> Like your head's missing. Spinning around. There's the tall next head. You hiding behind that shield? Come out here.
those overrides. Noise. I was like really sure he was gonna die before we got the tail. And we just got it. you had in your cargo crate. Very nice. Time to get some machine oils. Elemental claw buddies. That's right. Lots of overrides. There seems to be a tall neck blocking this platform. Tall neck. To find a different exit. It looks like there's room underneath the core. Maybe I can squeeze through. Tortilla, you've been fighting a Slitherfang for three hours? That looks like fun. You trying to do it with green gear or something? It's almost there. Let's not do that again. Getting earth grinders, Tertio. Are you early game? Tonic's not going anywhere soon. These vents should get me across.
Looks like the only way across is up. Up and down and up and down and up and down. Kind of cool how you get a big zoom out on that whole sequence there. That's why the cauldron won't release the tall neck at the core. They're going to push me off. Nope, they're just going to kill me. <laughs> Norma. Do you want to build a tall neck? Down a little hole there for a second. I can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. It's kind of a tight spot to fight, guys. Sure you don't want to wait till we're outside the cauldron? your tall neck.
Yum. Piercing spice. Should get me to the head. A very slow carrier drone. You got a headache or something? It looks uncomfortable. Hurting my tall neck. Oh. oh boy. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, we're in trouble. <laughs> uh oh, company. I don't Shelly. think I'll be able to go past that shield. Shelly. Is Shelly the shell snapper, though? the shell walker. Poke him in the eye. Medium machine core.
Where's the Zelda door in this one? Pretty sure there is a Zelda door in this one. I think there's one in all of them except Gemini. Phoebe? Look at all these tall neck heads. In storage. Should get me to the head. Like ride it over. I think it's I can over drop here down somewhere. If I time it right. Now. Probably safer to jump off at the platform up ahead. It's not that. I think that's a vent. I want to try it on keyboard. For those of you that don't know, there's a, we did one earlier, but there's an Easter egg Zelda door in most of the cauldrons. That's what I'm trying to find right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
think I can hear the head being repaired. Head's in place. The guy's fixed. Got your head on straight. And Good job, Tolnik. Maybe if I override the Tolnik, the shockwave will break it free. Yeah, is it in here? I don't think it is. I don't think it's down there. Hmm. I honestly don't remember where it is in this one. was behind me? Really? Right over there? Wait, is that it over there? No. Back at the top of the zip line, really? Like over in this corner? Mm, I'll have to go down to get back over there. Can slide back up zip lines are really How do you get the momentum to do that? To slide back up a zip line? Hey, Lloyd. No, 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 no.
guys are saying it's over here somewhere? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, if no one caught the first one before. See the little Triforce there? You can stand up in front of these. Then you go on a D-pad. But I'm going to do it on the... On the D-pad, it's left, right, up, left, right, up. So, on keyboard and mouse, let's see. What are my... Uh, I think I adjusted the keybinds. No, I didn't. ZX and then heal is Q, right? Yeah. Okay, so... ZQX, ZQX. Yep. Nice. All right, found the Zelda door. Let's finish this up. Who was about to have a panic attack? You're gonna miss again. What if I went down the zip line again? Broke the cauldron, Talnik. It worked. Amy, wow, you didn't know about those? See, you can play the game tons, and there's still Easter eggs to find. That's what's cool. You're definitely not the last person to know about it, though. Good to breathe some fresh air again. You isn't too bad either. What a cool cauldron tall neck combo. All right, Timmy tall neck. Let's trample those machines, huh? Imagine you could control the tall neck. <laughs> the Ravager's like, what? She's on top of the Talma? I can't reach her. Kick this a little bit there.
kick him, tall neck. Committed to hitting the canister. Classic mistake. For me, anyway. Oh, didn't get it.
Oh, wouldn't it be great if we had gotten him positioned right so the tall neck just stomped on him? was a pretty long fight. Where's the other Ravager? Mine! like foot's a little itchy what is that oh here it is All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it there for the stream for today. About four and a half hours. Hopefully the technical difficulties were not too frustrating for everybody. Seems like it was stable the last hour or so here, which is good. But yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out on stream today, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. We will do more streams probably starting on Friday. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, rest of your Sunday. Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning. Maybe it's Monday morning for some of you, depending on where you're at. But appreciate you guys tuning into the stream. Hope you had fun. And if you're new, you're welcome to join us over on Discord. The link, the invite link to my Discord server is in the description of the stream it's also in the description of all my videos so you're welcome to come chat we have a very active horizon community there lots of experienced players lots of new players too lately so it's been fun yep paris is inviting mr keyframes over to discord but you're all welcome so like the, like i said the link is in the description otherwise hope to see you guys on the next stream and you guys have a good rest of your weekend and have a good week till I see you again. See you guys.